Now we're going to introduce a different concept in Abacus, which can be used alongside Abacus. It was something that I de designed for India, where uh, it was too expensive for children to buy. All they have to do is copy this uh, layout, a three dimension, just a flat layout of the Abacus, not a physical layout. And it can be copied onto any piece of scrap paper. Here we have columns in, in numerals and columns in words, right across to a million. Just to use it, we simply count, and uh, for as an example, I'll count, I'll add seven. So I count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we've got seven, and then I'm going to add another seven to it. So I'll pick up the counter again, start to count. One, two, three, I'm at ten. And I raise up my counter and ask, please, Mr. Decimal, give me ten. And I move from the zero to the ten. I've got to three, and I'm going to count onwards. Four five, six, seven. So there we are, ten and four are fourteen, two sevens are fourteen. Picture of this on a piece of scrap paper and seven stones. A child can still use an abacus, still be taught about an abacus. And for British children I've turned it into a plastic page where we have the alphabet on the back. And the alphabet is has got lines on it to show us the where they go and it's also in a rhythmic it's a rhythmic picture A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z the child can work with that as a picture following on from bigger cards that I've made it can follow the letters by just following the arrows with its forefinger A, B, C, D, E, F. We can point and prove. We can ask a child to point to any number or one of the hundred children. Point to an M, point to an H, to an E, point to a P, P point to a Q, Point to an X, a Z, an H. Point and prove, point and prove. The child will pick up the alphabet sound purely by rhythmic chanting. And then we can point and prove until we know it. As well as that, we have this gadget which can be written on and a child can write on the letters. Almost the same as that. Also, we have cards and a, a larger layout, which I call a, a three-dimensional layout for reading. This is a system of reading which I've developed, which is uh, considered to be logical. And it's really built on spatial thinking. Once you've got a pack of cards and a layout which could be simply copied and given to the parents of any child in a school, the pack of cards can be overlaid by the by the child, A B C, D E F G, and they go there. There, the first step, the rhythmic sound of the alphabet. So, the child is chanting the alphabet. They can chant it with their parents. They can chant it in a classroom. They can chant it anywhere they like, and then they can point and prove. While they're chanting, they can point A, B, C, D, E, F, and they can prove, and then you can ask and be asked questions to point to any letter. Continually, the child is looking at the letter. It has a spatial layout in its mind. It relates very much to the way that the child learns maths on the abacus. It's the closest thing you're going to get. And to finally make it m more interesting, what I did with one of my grandchildren was take an, an A and put a small apple on the A 
a bird on the bee, a bird's nest on the N, N for nest, a walnut on the on the W, and of course children love wee wee. It's always a very good one. An orange on the O, an egg on the E, an L on the lemon, pepper on the pepper, you've even got the word pepper, S salt, salt on the salt, a pear can go on the, on the P as well, a banana can go on, so it's just a matter of getting children to relate first of all to the rhythmic sound second to link the sound of the lowercase letter and third to associate a number of words with each of the thing an oxo cube on the x various things can be used there and all the time the child is building up the memory of the spatial layout of the alphabet it's very much in line with the work that we've done with the with the abacus from the plastic page we can follow the children writing with the forefinger around each letter F, K we, const we constantly associating the mind through the finger the touch the look of it the sound of it we're using the total child's intelligence to develop the, these letters. And when it comes to the alternative phonetics, by using different items, different three-dimensional items on different uh, letters, we're also helping the child build up a background of sound. The cards are very, very low, very low costly. They have a small star there, a line through, and the and the and basic for the bottom of the card is a small piece of green. This this layout is not going to move, so the child's not getting mixed up with letters in that way. The letters can be overlaid quite simply, and this is in conjunction with it. Now, our three items: the abacus, a plastic page for pointing, proving comprehension of how how letters are laid out. And in fact a board which can be used for writing with a pen and the child can write the alphabet in the same order continually.